Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you today about why the mutant. Uh, there's a definite reason why we developed the mutant and why you would want one. So while 3D printing, inevitably we're going to get jams. We're going to get clogged hot ends uh, right here on the machine is one. Uh, you're going to get blobs, you're going to get clogged extruders, everything like that. Uh, the time that it takes you to actually take off the hot end and clean it out and repair it is excessive. And a lot of us with multiple printers, we leave it till we actually have the time. So if we have five printers, maybe two of them are down. And most people I've spoken to, a third of their printers are down at any one time because they just can't find the time to get to that clog, they've got other things they've got to do. Well, the beauty of having a mutant is I've got a clog, I just pull off the hot end with the nasty clog, and I take the same hot end set up already ready, slap it in there, and I'm good to go. I didn't lose any printing time. Now, my clogged hot end, I could work on when I have the time. And rather than working on this on a machine in an uncomfortable position, I'm working on this on my workbench. So that in itself to me was one of the basic reasons to create a mutant. But it doesn't stop there. Now let's just say that I like to have a 0.4 nozzle and I like to print nice fine small things, but I've got this wonderful CR10, I could print some large things. I'd love to put a 0.8, a 1, or a larger nozzle on there, but the time that it takes me to swap all that out, heat it up, change nozzles, is just a waste of time. I could just swap out and put on a setup, in this case it's an E3D with a volcano hot end and a one nozzle. Okay, And just by swapping that out, I can all of a sudden print very large things really quickly. And it didn't take me more than, what, the three seconds to change it out. And it doesn't end there. I can change this out and infinitely go on. I can take a beautiful slice engineering mosquito hot end and we've got the Bontec BMG direct drive extruder, really wonderful pair. So I could drop in real high performance hot ends and get going. And once again, it doesn't stop there. We've got all these great situations for swapping out different hot ends, different performance factors, different nozzle sizes, repairing when something's got a jam. But beyond that, why is it called the mutant? Because one of the reasons is you're not limited to FDM. I can now just tuck away that Bowden tube or take it off. Let me just take it off of here. And I could put on a laser cutter engraver. In this case, it's one of the very inexpensive ones. It's completely driven by the fan controls, powered and driven by fan controls. Simple to set up and use, and your machine just became a laser engraver. For the times that you really want something more powerful, this is a Niji, uh, very powerful, what is this, 50 watt? Uh, 40 watt. So this is a powerful Niji 40 watt laser. This thing will cut through uh, one inch wood without a problem. Same thing, throw it on there and you've got a high performance laser. Now, I can go even further. I can, when I'm ready, this is set up for this machine over here, I could put on a ceramic extruder. In this case, this is the WASP, another one of our partners. And this is the WASP extruder mounted to a mobile plate. You just throw this on your machine and you are printing ceramics. And there we go. So we've got that. We also are partners with Cakewalk and we have a similar setup for a cake extruder. So you could print ceramics, you could print cake, you could print chocolate and pastries. And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna show you something really cool. You could also use dummy plates you don't even need the mobile plate. You download our dummy plate and design or simply print out files that exist. In this case, this is a McLary design Sharpie pen holder. Why would I need that? Well, I could do my own custom t-shirts. I swap out my different color pens, get some paint pens, 
anything I want to put in there. I can make it a pen plot or I could print on any material. I could put a block of wood down here. I could put my t-shirt down here and you could print there. And you don't even need a mobile plate for this if you don't need to because there's no further electronic connection. What you're doing is you're disattaching your original connections. You're substituting it simply with a, a dummy plate and a, and a pen holder and you've got a plotter. Same thing applies to a small rotary blade. This one will allow you to cut your vinyls, cut your acetates, cut face shields, cut anything you want in your mask for airbrushing. The potential to mount anything you want is limitless. You could mount dial gauges to read the flatnesses of your beds. You could do quality control. You could flip switches. I've seen so many different things being done with the mutant and it's really just limited to your imagination. You've got the kinematics and electronics of the machine already there for you. All you're doing now is taking advantage of the X gantry plate of the machine to put on anything you want and the wiring transmitted through there. So I think that the mutant not only is going to make you have a more positive experience with clogs and jams, going to give you a really fast switch over between different types of hot ends and drives, but it's also going to transform your machine completely. And all the instructions and all the mounts to do this stuff are already being developed. Most of them are right there on our website on the support page and every day something new is coming out. So keep your eye out, try it out, print different stuff, make your 3D printer into a whole nother monster. Thank you.